Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report for this week. In Judaism, the biblical reading for this week is from Deuteronomy chapter 30, uh, 31, exactly. Uh, <clears throat> it's entitled Vayalach, and it means he went out, and it's speaking of Moses. And uh, I want to read just the, some of the comments of Rabbi Chaim Richman, who's the head of the Temple Institute, Temple Mount Institute in, in Israel. They're preparing for the third temple there. And he says this, quoting from Deuteronomy 31.1, And Moses, Moses went. And to where did Moses go? The Torah does not provide us with this information. And the sages of Israel have expressed different opinions as to Moshe's uh, intended destination. We read this Torah selection, Parashat Vayelech, namely, and he went out. Uh, we read that this uh, Shabbat, which falls between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. And this unique Shabbat is known as Shabbat Shuvah. Shabbat Shuvah, the Sabbath of repentance, of rest restoration, restoring reviving our relationship with God primarily. <clears throat> it presents us all with an expanded and enhanced opportunity to do teshuvah, to do repentance, <clears throat> to return to ourselves and to draw nearer to God, to take stock spiritually of where we are in our relationship to God, as well as a challenge to rise above ourselves and to draw nearer to our fellow human beings and those we love especially. It's all part of a month-long build-up to the days of all. The days of all are those ten days between uh, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. The days of all. <clears throat> it's the, and it's the cosmic opening of God's arms, as it were, to receive His returning children in repentance and restoration. So the rabbi asked, so where was Moses going? Additionally, he asked, where are we going, for that matter? Think about where we're headed can lead us to recalling where we have been, the paths we have taken, the paths we've not taken, the paths we shouldn't have taken. This kind of reflection is the beginning of teshuvah, of, of repentance, returning to our true selves and returning to the true self of God that he intended, us for, do, uh, intended for us to do. But self-reflection is just the first step in doing teshuvah, of returning to God. The question is, what will it lead to? And let me suggest that it would lead to this. It would lead to a proclaiming of the uh, birchat kohanim, the priestly prayer. Uh, the priestly prayer starts out the, the high, holiday, high holidays in Judaism. It's taken from Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 through 27. You're familiar with it, I'm sure. I've spoken of it many times. Uh, where God says, uh, this is a way you're to bless the people. Lord bless you and keep you. Lord make his face to shine upon you. And in the closing verse, verse 27, he says, when you put my name on my people, I will bless them. Now, Lord is not his name. That is his title. And uh, there must be a return, a repentance and a restoration of the name of Yahweh. It's coming. It will come. But we can do that during these days of awe. We can return to the proclaiming of his name as he said. And in doing that, I want to proclaim his name upon you, upon those you love. Hopefully you will in turn go to Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 through 27, and proclaim the blessing of Yahweh's name on those you love as well. Here it is from Numbers chapter 6. Yivarecha Yahweh v'yishmarecha, Yahya Yahweh panavalecha v'yechunecha, Yisa Yahweh panavalecha v'yechunecha, v'yasim lecha shalom. Yahweh bless you and keep you. Yahweh make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Yahweh turn his face towards you and give you his peace. Vashem Yeshua Meshikenu, in the name of Jesus, our Messiah. Until next week, od ki yavoshilo, or until Messiah comes, yavareka Yahweh, Yahweh bless you.